So I just connected the uh, service connector to start the car. I'm going inside the car. <coughs> it's still on, but uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So I turn it off and close the door. As you can see, it looks pretty much original inside the car, except for the ECU hanging out over there. Um, this ECU is bought from travelchestprojects.com. It's used for, for example, if you want to swap another combustion engine in your car, LS1, whatever, this board can be used to uh, convert the CAN signals. And I'm doing exactly that. I'm using his code. I modified the code quite a bit to um, my needs. Um, for example, um, I'm getting all the signals out of the leaf inverter from the Johannes Hübner board, sending it into the um, Arduino-based um, board that I have here. Um, and then this board is communicating with the car. Um, for example, the start procedure of the car works as follows. Um, I have now switched into third gear. I'm pressing the on switch for the first time. <coughs> the car will start. For the second time, the car will turn on. Now, um, as you can see, I still have some warning lights. Um, the trunk warning light over there, it's on because I obviously have the trunk still open which doesn't matter. Um, the key will turn off once the car is really in run mode and uh, um, of course the, the gas tank is empty because it's not there anymore. Uh, I want to use the GOG for the state of charge indicator but um, I have to convert the digital signal to analog signal and I will have to find a way by um, building a circuit or something to do that. Um, from time to time you can see the um, mill Turning on, that's still something in my code, I get rid of that, that, that won't be a big deal. Um, the temperature gog, I got it working. Um, I just added a few degrees actually to the CAN signal because um, I have 20 degrees on the motor right now and it will show like zero. Usually this should be around 70 degrees and I think I, I've set it to uh, 60, 63 something at the moment, something like that, whatever. Um, I see how that works out but I can change that every time. Um, let's start the car, which I'm doing by pressing the brake with my right foot and I controlled it by the cruise control. So once I'm pressing the cruise control up, the car will turn on.